Okay, so now in this example here, we're going to find uh, equivalent fractions. And so in this case, we want to find five equivalent fractions that are equivalent to a half. Okay, so the easiest way to do this is to just start multiplying by the same number, by the, using one number, multiplying the top and the bottom by the same number. Okay, so if I start off with one half, right, and by the way, one half is the smallest fraction, the largest number that will divide both the numerator and the denominator is one. So guess what? What happens if I multiply the top and the bottom by two? So let's multiply, oh, here it is. So multiply the top and the bottom by two. But isn't that the same as taking one half and dividing by two divided by two? Huh, think about that. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just multiplying by a form of one. And if I multiply by one, do I change the value of a number? Remember the principle of any number divided by one, or any number multiplied by one is itself. So, and that includes fractions. So this is, in, in a sense, multiplying by one. So what happens if I multiply by two over two, or just multiply the top and the bottom by two? Well, I'm gonna get two fourths. So two fourths is the same as a half. Okay, let, well, let's continue. Okay, so we've got two fourths. What about if we multiply the top and the bottom by three? Well, let's do it. That's gonna give us three sixths. There's another one. Well, let's keep going. So one half times four, and I'm doing this differently so you can see how I'm writing it. You can write it different ways, it means the same thing. Um, so again, this is gonna give me four eighths. And if you see the pattern, then we know that the next one is gonna be five tenths, and the next one is six twelfths. So again, if I just take one half and multiply the top and the bottom by five, and then I take one half and multiply the top and the bottom by six. And so the first, so the, so five equivalent fractions to a half is going to be what? Two fourths, three sixths, four eighths, five tenths, and six twelfths. And that's it.